How you doing guys? It's me again, Rafi Muriel from Extreme RC. Today we're gonna go over the Rustler, the new Rustler 4x4 brushless, two cell only. Exciting, we, it's very exciting. I've been waiting for this. This is actually a cool idea the Traxxas came up with. Uh, I give them thumbs up for thinking about it and bringing it out. And first let's talk about the price. Actually, let's rewind. Don't forget to subscribe, to like us. Uh, we would like to continue doing these videos for you all. So give us a good reason. Huh? <laughs> all right, so let's get back to the car. 4x4 Rustler, More, most of you guys already know about this car. Um, this platform been around for many years. You know, the Stampede and the Slash 4x4 all on the same uh, platform and parts, pretty much. Uh, here we have a motor two cell only. So um, this ESC and this motor is brand new. 3300 kV motor, so it should give you a little more torque than the Valenian system. Which mean um, this gear inside, I'm, I'm expecting it to be about 14 or 15 teeth. Um, let's, let's take a look actually. I would like to check what type of a gear it is. Okay, so a little birdie told me it's a 12 teeth. So we're expecting this one, in my opinion, to do about 35 miles an hour with a 12. 35 miles an hour. And, uh, I really like the blue parts, uh, you know, they might be a little stronger than the black uh, plastic. The size of these drive shafts, guys, pay attention, I just now paid attention to it. It's uh, much thicker than the regular 4x4 VXL. So this is very impressive. Uh, the joints are much bigger, the plastic is thicker. I like it, it looks good. Um, the shocks, the only thing. Trucks is, uh, still only give you uh, shocks that are not adjustable, unfortunately. Uh, you can only adjust them with them little uh, pieces of plastic um, spacers, you know, C-clip type uh, plastic. Um, but it is what it is, you know, they've been proven to, to run good, to handle good. So that's really what's important. Uh, you're getting a great car, reliable car, no more of these uh, brush motors that uh, die after a, a week sometimes you know i don't know what happened in the last uh, few years of production the motors just you know, i never seen it before let's put it that way i've been in business for nine years and the brush motors used to last years and i have people coming in here from 10 years ago with the same existing motor and uh, now we cannot even get a week sometimes and if you don't know uh, it's only a one month uh, warranty on brush motor uh, except all the other electronics are up to a year uh, so all right guys we got the two rustlers out here we got the new one with a 2s only and we got the three cell vxl uh, but still have the same battery 2s and 2s they're exactly the same batteries i will show you them later when we open up and talk about the inside of the cars what's different about them so we're gonna do a little drag race between them to see which one of them uh, is faster or oh, they might be just the same speed I gamble that the VXL 3 cell motor is faster because it got more kV and I believe the teeth count on this gear is higher I think it's a 13 or 14 so it should be faster but I just want to see how impressive the new one is with a two cell only motor in here see because that should be the one uh, that you, you know people should buy this instead of buying the brushed one that should be replacing the brush motor so uh, I believe that that should be the best uh, item for a beginner driver sometime the three cell brush this can be a little out of hand uh, a little harder to control which creates more broken parts and spending more money on uh, unnecessary uh, parts so let's give it a try and by the way you guys can see I'm not a biased I wear a Kyosho uh, shirt, but uh, Traxxas hat, so I'm all in here just to give you guys the information about these two cars. Alright, let's give it a try.
It's definitely making sense to go with uh, the brushless 2S than a brushed model. But when you already get into the 300 number, you know, $300 uh, for a car, some people won't mind to invest another $70 and just grab this one. Now, I will explain why it might make sense to um, invest the $70 and get this model instead of this model. Alright? So, first of all, radios. The TQI Bluetooth radio have an ability to uh, take a Bluetooth module and then you can do your settings and your uh, tuning with your um, phone, which gives you a lot more control over the car. And this radio by itself worth about $70 and this radio worth $30. So it's definitely a, a value right here, just, just in the radio. Another thing guys, right here in this brushless VXL model we have a, a drive shaft that made out of metal it's not the strongest thing in the market but you know what it is better than having a plastic one so keep this up uh, keep an eye on this one you know that's an important piece uh, definitely when it's getting to a high speed metal doesn't rattle you know it doesn't vibrate so that's a good thing to have and um, it's only cost about ten dollars but still it's a good thing to have obviously you have a setup here a brushless motor and you see they're worth uh, by itself two hundred dollars uh, obviously Traxxas have the um, upgrade uh, upgrade setup that you can uh, buy this setup for less probably about hundred and twenty five dollars twenty dollars and getting a, a value of two hundred dollars on uh, electronics plus a willy bar they're worth about twenty dollars a radio and another big thing is this linkage all the buckles are adjustable so you can really set your uh, camber and tow and that's how you can make your car handle a lot better so this is very nice to have all these metal buckles this helps you a lot when you when you start racing on a racetrack or just want to handle better you know not just out of the box all right so we were talking about um, you know the differences with, between the two cars uh, metal drive shaft wheelie bar better radio control and um, the turnbuckles are adjustable but again for the people that wants to be uh, want to stay loyal to Traxxas, instead of jump to uh, Arma, which giving you a, a car for three hundred and fifty dollars, it's the Vortex uh, Pro. You know they come with a brushless setup for three fifty. So Traxxas came out with this one. Yeah, it's limited to two cell, but you know what? I like it. I think it's a great idea. Every time you give people more speed, uh, they end up breaking them. They end up breaking them a lot more, and I think uh, 
40 to 45 miles an hour, that's the sweet spot for an off-road vehicle. Trying to go faster on off-road, you're gonna see me a lot more often for parts. That's guaranteed. And uh, I think I'm, I'm right every time. And customers ad admit it too. And you guys know who you are, you, you admitted it before. So just, just think about it. On off-road, you don't need more than 45 miles an hour. And this car with a change of gear can, can, can do that, can do 45 miles an hour. And that's plenty. That's plenty to pop wheelies. You still have the torque behind it. You can take jumps. And um, the best thing is that you have control over the car. And then uh, if you control it, you enjoy it more, in my opinion. When you start not controlling it, it starts spinning out on you because you have too much power. You ain't really controlling the car, the car controls you. So, you know, that's it for this video. Again, don't forget guys, uh, subscribe, like us, so we can um, see some fruit out of these videos. We can uh, do more. Uh, I have a lot more educational videos that I can do for y'all. And um, that's it for today. If you have any more questions, send us some uh, questions on, the, on Facebook or on YouTube and um, we're gonna reply, reply back with whatever. If you have anything on your mind that you wanna see, uh, let us know what video you want me to do. If it's a soldering video, if it's a fixing, if it's a upgrading, um, I can definitely do it. And uh, before we go, I will recommend on uh, metal spur gear at all times. Metal spur gear, uh, we can do either Robinson racing or hot racing gears. Don't forget about that, and don't forget that uh, we can change this metal, uh, this drive shaft to a metal drive shaft. And on this model, actually, the drive shafts are pretty nice. I won't even worry about changing them to metal because this way you have a lot more waterproof items. You know, plastic doesn't go bad on uh, if you go take it to the beach. You can drive them on the sand without having any rust on the drive shafts. But if you do drive on sand on, on the beach, just make sure you uh, clean the car very good the same day, don't wait to the next day, and lubricant the bangs, and you might even need to change the bangs. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much, and hope to see you guys again.